Now, we are talking of the African Youth Connect Summit 2023. And uh, as you can see, we have uh, three words revolving around this summit. Yes. Innovation. Yes. Inclusivity. Yes. And uh, the other one is... Uh, connectivity. Connectivity. Yes. What can you say about it? Yes. Uh, first of all, uh, wow to the summit organizers, to the delegates, to the panels very inspiring stories, very inspiring ideas, uh, but most importantly, youths have been included in the summit, and, and you can see uh, exactly what they are doing in their respective agripreneurship. I think uh, this is the way to go, and yes. just in a few words, I can say the summit is wow, it's very amazing, and uh, this is the real thing. We have the youth being involved in the actual ideas, the actual innovations, mm. and uh, I, I'm feeling, uh, being one of the youth, I feel uh, this is a good thing and uh, a good experience to be here and uh, have ideas from all over the continent that uh, can help us really to help this youth in the agri, agri sector. <clears throat> yes, so maybe we could focus on the three words, uh, connectivity, inclusion, and uh, innovation. Okay. So maybe we can start on connectivity and maybe we could uh, explain more how we are connected, the two of us. Okay, if I may say, my name is Elpas Mukoya. I come from Kakamega County, uh, representing Ego Agrichamps Youth Association. This is a youth association involved in fodder production in Kakamega County. Mm. Okay. Yes, I'm Videl Mwangi Agola. I'm, the, I'm from West Kenya Machinery Rings. Uh, this is in Bungoma Machinery Ring, uh, Bungoma County. Uh, we are operating in uh, three counties. The regional office is in Kandui sub-county, and then we have machinery rings in Kimilile sub-county and Tongaren sub-county. What can you say about connectivity mm. and innovation relating to what you are doing back at home? Uh, first of all, maybe we should mention that uh, we have been sponsored to come here by the Food and Agriculture Organization, and, and they have connected us. Uh, uh, youths here from uh, different counties and also from around Africa. Yes. Yeah, I, we had one of the speakers, I think, from Zimbabwe or so, mm -hmm. who said that, you know, these youths cannot come here by themselves. Mm -hmm. It is very expensive. Yes. And I think we can give uh, kudos to FAO yes. as an organization yes. for facilitating the youth like they have done to us to come and have the experience and have the actual talk. Mm -hmm down the line to see how we can help in the agri-food sector. Yes. So, in Kakamega County, Ingo agri Youth Association, we do fodder production, mm -hmm. quality fodder production. Uh, specifically, we measure on uh, boma rods. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, high-quality grass which is used to make hay. And then, whatever we do, we do as a group. Mm -hmm. We work as a group. As you've heard many speakers say, to pursue an idea or uh, if you want something it is good to move it as a group yes and so we are doing bomarots uh, seven youth groups under ingo agri champs association with 140 members uh, which i think uh, we have the numbers mm. and in agriculture we can do marvelous as we are doing uh, now we have uh, 10 acres of land, cultivated boma roads, mm, mm. and uh, more than 10 acres uh, of napier grass and other products. But specifically we measure on hay production, which uh, as we are talking now, we, can, we, can, we have a story behind that. We can say that uh, really mm. uh, intending to, 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 to create a decent employment for the youth through agriculture. We have many youth who are uh, unemployed, but then uh, when you have a problem, that's a good chance to find an opportunity with that problem. Mm -hmm. I think we are doing good, and uh, maybe you can tell us what you are doing also. 
or first of all, maybe you have jumped to the next word, which is uh, inclusion, okay. inclusion okay. of youths. And what you're saying is that including youths in Kakamega in, the, in your project yeah. has been working for you. Yeah. Okay. It has worked for us. And uh, we, 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 we are very committed to make sure that the youth are in the talk. And whatever they are doing will help in the economic development of, of, of the region. And uh, I am very happy to say that I am my chair yes. is a lady. Wow. And to the topic of inclusivity, mm. you see, we have seen uh, many uh, speakers who are ladies talking about great things they have achieved. Yes. I am very proud of my chair, uh, Madam Dorothy Makayoto. She is doing a very good job. And uh, that is part of uh, uh, inclusivity we are talking. And in our group, we, we have a lot of women, by mm. the way, who are really doing a good job. Wow. So we have something to, to, to be proud of. Yes. Yeah. Yes, in the forum yesterday on women leadership, uh, we were told the importance of gender parity and gender, in, gender equi equity. Yes. So uh, maybe I could talk about uh, West Kenya machinery rings. Yeah. And, uh, Focus like your focus about uh, the inclusion of youths. Yes. So we are dealing with sustainable agriculture, okay. uh, and and on this, uh, the three we have focused uh, the youth on the three basic goals of sustainable agriculture, mm. and one of them is economic profitability, and uh, the second one is uh, environmental health, and the third one is social equity. So uh, the youths dealing with uh, economic profitability, uh, we have three of them. Uh, these are the economic managers. They teach farmers about the calculation of their arable farms, uh, about uh, machine utilizations. Because yeah. uh, you see, most farmers they do not keep records yeah. of their what they are doing on their farm. Yeah, what what are their direct costs? What are their labor costs? What are their profits or gross margins? What are their capital costs, building costs, land leasing costs, and opportunities? Are they doing this work, uh, being paid? Are they having an entrepreneurial profit? Are they having losses? Uh, so uh, this use, they advise on the same. And also we have the business development team. And this one's uh, still on uh, economic sustainability. They advise farmers on business development, but they themselves, uh, we started from the beginning, from business ideas. We had a lot of business ideas. But then we focus on a, a few of them that were viable. So this is a agro agro dealership, also animal feed formulation, uh, also spraying services and uh, maize milling services. Uh, and then we have the spraying team uh, who have been uh, trained by AAK uh, and certified, and they have been given uh, equipments uh, for protective gear uh, by by GIZ and AAK. Uh, and these youths, they are employed by the machinery ring so that they can earn a living and uh, sustain the project in the economic sense. And then we have environmental health, and uh, we have two of them. Uh, the spraying service, of course, because they, have to, they are dealing with chemicals yeah. that are going to the soil. But uh, most importantly, we have the climate smart farming trainers. And uh, this one's the they talk about conservation agriculture and they teach uh, farmers about minimal tillage. They uh, teach farmers about the need for soil health, the need for soil testing, the need for liming, uh, the need for uh, intercropping, agroforestry, the need for IPM crop meat. rotation. Yeah. Exactly. And then, uh, and then uh, the last part, the social equity. We have engaged the youth and ladies uh, to, to, to train farmers about collegial advice. Yes, and the conflict resolution of the farmers. And, and uh, in this way, we are, we are in the uh, economic managers, uh, spray team, CSF team, climate smart farming team, they are both men and girls, but we focus this one on only girls so that they are their voices are heard in the community. 
and then uh, so these are the youths that you are working with and that's how we have included the youths uh, by including them on the sustainability of the project so that we are growing with them and we are learning with them okay yes I think uh, that's very good and uh, you are doing a good job and uh, maybe because uh, we are limited to time yes uh, maybe I uh, maybe I can handle something on value addition oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so maybe uh, you could tell us what can you say about value addition uh, especially what inspired you okay yes uh, I think um, and I believe that the uh, value addition this is where you you, you, you you just in a simple way to add value on the product that you have mm. so that uh, you know in in production uh, the main aim is the profit maximization so uh, you uh, you must make sure that you are uh, your input costs are very low yes. and then so that you can at the end of the day you make very high profits so in value addition uh, specifically what we do we preserve our fodder. We make sure that we uh, <coughs> preserve our, our fodder in a good way that it can last longer mm. and maybe uh, when, when we can keep it for long and maybe take advantage of the, of the hike of the hike prices when the fodder is really in need. So what inspired us uh, uh, to, to, to do fodder production in Kakamega County, we have 12 sub counties, and these 12 sub counties, the, the government, county government, intends to build 12 smart dairy farms. That is one in each uh, every sub county, and now we have existing four, four existing, and uh, we found that uh, the main feed for these uh, smart dairy farms, that is for the, that is dairy production, is done mm -hmm. there. The main feed is uh, hay and silage. And uh, the government is only producing, the county government of Kakamega is only producing silage, silage milk. So we saw this as an opportunity for the youth to make money, to create a decent employment for the unemployed youth. Oh, so that was the inspiration behind that. It was an opportunity for the youth to make money. Yes. Uh, so, like we have learned in this forum, where there is a challenge, there is an opportunity. Yeah. Uh, so, there is another keyword that you have left behind, yeah. which is innovation. Yeah. Are there some innovation in your project? Yeah, sure. And I am very happy to announce that I am the farm manager of uh, Ingo AgriChamp mm. Youth Association. Mm -hmm. uh, I am a agriculture extension officer by profession. And uh, I've also had a chance to interact with the outside world, the, that is the German country. Uh, and uh, I've been on the German farms, I've seen what they do. So uh, one of the innovations, the key innovation we have uh, placed in our, in our group is that uh, we have quality maintenance of the fodder, proper land preparation, proper management, proper harvesting, harvesting at the right stage, mm. and then after post-harvest handling, we make sure that our fodder is harvested at the right time. And where many people or many farmers miss the point is the place of drying. And I heard this from the German people that uh, when you have uh, a temperature of between 20 to 30 degrees per day, mm -hmm. you are able to achieve moisture content of 45 percent. Wow. With the moisture content of 45 percent mm -hmm. in this fodder, you find that the green color of the fodder is maintained and thus the palatability, the ability of the, of the fodder to be accepted by the animal. It yeah. is sweet to the animal. So many farmers, uh, they just dry it. And uh, at, at the end of the day, it has no nutritional value or nutritional content of the animal. So uh, the place of drying, getting our moisture content right and drying it at the right stage to make sure that it can stay for as long as it can stay for as long mm. at its, as it is in the store, and then also the quality is maintained for the for the for the for the for the benefit. Of yes. the farmer, yes. Yeah. Thank you for that. Uh, maybe you could uh, tell us something about advocacy on uh, entrepreneurship. 
Wow, thank you very much. And uh, on advocacy, we have in our group, we have had uh, an, an opportunity to, to engage with the policy makers, uh, specifically the county government of Kakamega. We are involved in the, when, when the government is doing the CIDP, that is the County Integrated Development Plan. We are really much involved into that. We are involved into that and we make sure that uh, we, we air our views. We champion for what we want. And then yeah. through that, we have been able to achieve more. Maybe as you wrap up your side, maybe you could tell us some uh, notable successes and challenges that you have uh, encountered. Yeah, successes for now. Uh, we have uh, we have uh, more than 30 youths. Yeah. Each one of them now are able to operate one acre of their own land so that the profits they get is their own and that can sustain them. And that's a decent employment for the youth. Uh, we have had uh, challenges of mechanization and I am very glad that uh, you are here, you are you are doing mechanization. Yeah. Maybe you can share with us yeah. what you are doing. So maybe in summary, I could say there is the need uh, to accelerate uh, transformation into mechanization okay. uh, so that we have better production, a better life, better Im improvement uh, of the environment and a better improve, uh, improvement of nutrition uh, of our products. Uh, 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 what I would say is that uh, in our project, we have collaborated with uh, GIZ, okay. uh, who are mainly promoting the mechanization, okay. and they have donated about uh, four chisel harrows, about 11 uh, maize shellers, about uh, one uh, planter for cedar, Christian cedar. Okay. Uh, we have Ndume, uh, who have given us uh, two reapers. We have uh, Kenaf and AHF, okay. who are directly employing the youth through the training on uh, climate smart agriculture. And also we have uh, FAO, uh, through their partnership we have uh, engaged about a thousand farmers to plant uh, commercial soya on about uh, 1,500 acres. Wow. Yes, uh, and, and uh, my parting shot will be, or maybe some success stories before I, I say a parting shot. Uh, we have uh, employed about 103 youths in the project uh, through the, through the uh, sustainability goals. Uh, also, we have uh, trained about 10,000 farmers uh, and engaged them on climate smart farming. Also, we have seen that we have bettered production by reducing the cost of soil preparation and also reducing post-harvest losses. Uh, and uh, we are very grateful for the opportunity to connect as youths and because you see most of the things that we are doing are very similar and uh, interconnected, different counties, uh, different uh, countries, but same stories. So, in parting short, um, I'm calling for more mechanization so that we, uh, we, we save our environment because there's a lot of uh, air, environmental footprint on the agro-food system, uh, on the environment by the agro-food agro -food systems, uh, by land uh, soil erosion, loss of our biodiversity, uh, uh, loss of uh, forests, air pollution, yeah, as well. air pollution, yeah. Okay. So, thank you so much. Thank you also. Us, and yeah. on my side, I can say that uh, the youth we should take the habit of turning contacts into contracts. Yes. That's the business. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Pleasure meeting.